Are you struggling to read the passage and locate the answers in the reading module? I will suggest you to follow a three-step strategy to read the passage quickly, that is 3x faster. In today's class, we will discuss the three-step strategy, a guided practice, as well as an individual practice. If you find this video informative, then please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos. Hello everyone, this is Yesha, your IELTS expert with IELTSmaterial.com, helping you to prepare for the IELTS examination, writing correct answers, and getting higher band score in your IELTS test. The three-step strategy involved in reading the passage quickly, that is 3x faster, is the first step, which is called as skimming and scanning the passage quickly. Definitely, we are not going to read the passage first. We are going to read the questions properly, understand the question type, and then we would come to the passage. But before going to the question types, I would advise you to skip and scan the passage quickly. Just take 30 seconds to two minutes to read the passage, or I would say just to skim and scan the keywords so that it becomes very comfortable or it becomes very convenient for you to understand each and every question and go directly to the exact place of your answer. The next one is, once you have done the skimming and scanning, you should underline the keywords. The keywords can be the names, the numbers, and in the numbers, the subcategories can be date, time, and the number of people. So it can be the statistical figure. So numbers can be in this way, as well as the places. So these main ideas, uh, and you can also take up common nouns, the important common nouns. Please take up important common nouns, the names, the numbers in which the specification is date, time, and the figures, also include name of the places and the common nouns. When you underline all these main words, it becomes easy for you to locate the answers quickly, whether it is true, false, not given, or it is a completion task, especially if it is matching the headings or matching the opinions or deeds. Then attend the question task. So the first and foremost rule will be just spend two minutes. Spend two minutes with each and every passage. The second one will be underline the keywords and then go to the question types. Read the question types at the end. Read the question types at the end. So let's just move on to the guided practice where I would be doing one task that is one activity and it is going to be your chance to complete the next one. So let's move on to the next where I would make you understand how this particular task can be done. Here we have the content. So now what I'm going to do is quickly I'm going to use the time. The timer has already started. So I would quickly take up the important words. And for example, let's say Western countries and uh, China and India. That is the example given. And boys and girls talking about boys and girls, they're talking about diseases, coming to the gender to avoid having an affected child. Okay. Next is um, the next paragraph contains it talks about father's sperm to determine the child's gender, as well as the factors. And there is a proper noun, Elisa Cameron in 2007, University of. Uh, Pretoria, South Africa, blood sugar level of female. And then they have also given a statistical uh, figure in millimoles, 41%, 47%. Again, talking about the blood sugar levels and chocolates and sweets. They want a girl, okay? 740 pregnant women, University of England. And there is Fiona Matthews, 59, 43 
and talking about horse and cows, 1,000 birds, in addition, low calorie diets for females. And then they're talking about, uh, again, low calorie diets in Western women. And also going to the, um, on the other hand, they're also talking about cutting out the breakfast, continuing a weight reduction diet. Okay. Yes, that's it. So these, okay, some, if they are left, then definitely we can go for it. So if we mark these types of keywords before going to the question type, it really becomes easy for us to have the retention rate to a greater level, wherein we should be able to understand that we have these important words and definitely these important words would be there in the question task as well. So the first thing that I did is I skimmed, I actually skimmed through the whole passage and somewhere I have come to know that they're talking about the pregnant women and their condition while having a baby. So uh, there may be a condition that they can raise, that is the mother can experience the raised blood sugar level as well as if she is tempting to eat too much of chocolates and sweets and definitely that is a baby girl. What are the different conditions to have baby boy? So these things are uh, explained here, and this actually gives me an overview. But please do take care of that this should not go beyond two minutes, just two minutes. And then you would be having 14 questions in each uh, section, that is 14 or 13 or 13. So if you have 14 questions, then one minute to each question. So that says you will be spending only 14 minutes. Ideally, each section has 20 minutes to complete the task. The next step, after marking the keywords, underlining the keywords, the last step is to know about the question types. Analyze the question types by finding how many types of questions you have. For example, if you have two question types, then definitely one would be easy and one would be difficult. So attend the easy one first and then go for the difficult one. Now, I am just going to clear the drawings and then taking you to the next part where you have to attend the task. So let me take you to just the gist of the whole passage that is local museums. It is talking about local museums and I will go again and then immediately I will just start the next slide for your practice. So all the best to everyone. I hope you must have done the task properly. Now let's see what different uh, keywords I find 
by myself, giving you the idea that you should also select the, uh, sorry, you should also select these types of keywords. So let's say old town hall and horse drawn fire engines, eight rooms, topics like photographs, costume, domestic life and local celebrities, 1740 and then Octavia Hill, 19th and 20th uh, centuries, conservation issues, we don't want to write actually related to that, guided tour, explore the gardens and that is then free to explore the gardens. And next is Chatteris, 1706 and 1864 and they are going to talk about the traditional aspects of local farmers, 19th century, touch screen chaos, uh, 9,000 historic photographs and texts, and then coming back to Market Town March and 1851, wide ranging collections include reconstructions, early 20th century kitchen, sitting room and nursery, and then historic cameras and radios, a medal, train diver, Ben Gimbert for his bravery in preventing loss of life in a train of full explosives caught in 1944. Again, 19th century gem holds great expectations. They're talking about ancient Egypt, its library open to public on first Saturday of each month, which is again important. Charles Dickens, the research room booked for local records. So these are the keywords that I should mark and I should make sure that I finish it in two minutes, not more than two minutes. If I go less than two minutes, that's great. So I hope this has actually let you understand very clearly related to strategy, three-step strategy. First, skim and scan. Then second is underline the keywords and then analyze the question type. After completing the activities, you can write your answers or the keywords in the comment box. If you like this video, then please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. To learn more tips and tricks, related to the IELTS examination, please do follow us, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of the future videos.